Welcome back to the foster community. It's very welcoming and supported, and nowhere is that better shown than in our next guest, the one and only Ashley Ray. She's got a couple of great events she wants to share with us. And Ashley, happy Monday. Good morning. Happy Monday. Good morning. <laughs> Good to see you. So you got a couple of big events coming up. Uh, tell us what you have happening, please. We do, absolutely. So one of the missions of the Be A Foster movement is to su provide support and resources to the foster community, which includes also the adoptive and kinship communities. And so a couple things that we have, every Thursday evening, we have a weekly virtual foster mom mixer. So originally this was gonna be an in-person gathering of foster moms and then COVID hit. And so of course, like most things we went virtual and it's been such a blessing to go virtual because we've been able to reach so many more women um, outside of our community. So every week we get together for an hour or however long the ladies wanna stay on. And we talk about just different things that foster moms and adoptive moms may be experienced. We're there for support and encouragement and resources to one another. And then the newest thing that we have which we're super excited about is our very first virtual book club. So this is featuring a book called Behavior with a Purpose. And we are collaborating actually with the co-authors, um, Rick Delaney and Charlie Joyce. Uh, Charlie has been a past guest on our Be a Foster podcast. And now he's actually gonna be another guest um, again on Friday's episode, which is the release of season three of the Be a Foster podcast. So Charlie's gonna be on talking about this book. And then we're gonna launch that the following week um, two weeks later into a virtual book club. So there's six different topics that it talks about, six different behaviors. And so we're going to cover it over a six week period where each week we're going to talk about one of those behaviors. And the best thing about this book club, besides the amazing information that's in here that we're going to learn about, is that one of the authors, either Rick or Charlie, is going to be joining us live every week. And they are going to actually be leading that discussion via Zoom with the group. So it's not going to be from my perspective. It's going to be coming right from the perspective of the two gentlemen who wrote this book. Nice. So what are some uh, takeaways from the book that you guys are going to be talking about? You know, this is a fabulous book and I've already read it. So the, the biggest thing with, you know, foster children, adoptive children, um, even sometimes our own children is it's not looking at the behavior and saying, what's wrong with you? Why are you doing this? It's really looking at what happened to you that's creating this purpose. And too many times we look at children and think, you know, they're naughty kids, they're bad kids because they have these behaviors. But with every behavior, there's a root of, there's something there that created that, that caused it. And so instead of looking at it as a problem, it's looking at it from the, what happened, let's get to the root of it so that we can then address and better understand the behavior that's happening. And having that insight and that knowledge as parents, um, especially foster parents, because a lot of these children are coming from environments where there were trauma. There's maybe things that have happened to them that we can't comprehend. So being able to approach any situation from that kind of a perspective of not what's wrong with you, but what happened to you just helps us provide better care to them while they are with us. That's awesome. So how, how have you applied that yourself personally and what you're doing? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, all four children in our home, including our adopted child, Micah, have all been in the foster care system and they all have various forms of, you know, trauma of some degree, uh, just different types of trauma. One in particular was uh, the hoarding of food. So even though this might apply differently to our child when they were younger as a baby, um, the same concepts are there with you know, children who are eight, who are 10, who are 15. It's just looking at it from a different perspective and understanding again, what happened to that child that created that behavior and then being able to approach it from a different angle that I maybe would have approached it as a parent before I understood it from a different perspective, if that makes sense. Thousand percent, really, really great stuff. Got about a minute left. Um, anything else you wanna share with us, Ashley? I'm not asking you. Yeah, so everybody, this is open to anybody, any member of the foster adoptive kinship communities, any professional that wants to take place in this book club, it starts on Thursday, July 9th. It's every Thursday for six weeks um, from eight to nine via Zoom. They can go to our website, beafoster.org. 
Uh, they can find us on Facebook. They can email us at info at beafoster.org. Um, but anybody can sign up. It's absolutely free, which is amazing because a lot of book clubs, um, especially ones that are joined by the author themselves who have so much resource and knowledge that they're going to be sharing that directly with us. This is just such a treat and such an incredible opportunity that we're so grateful for. So we encourage everybody to sign up and to get involved. Nice. You said eight to nine. So eight to nine in the morning, eight to nine at night. Sorry, yes, I should clarify, PM. PM so okay. 8 PM to 9 PM via Zoom, Central Standard Time. But this is open to everybody. And it's really cool that we have in Grand Forks County gotten the hours approved for continuing education credits. So if there's anybody else out there, another county, another state, you wanna participate, get those hours um, counted for your continuing ed credits, just reach out to us and we'll get the paperwork submitted for that consideration. Man, great job, well done. Thank you for sharing, Thank we you. appreciate it. Thank you. All right, stay with us. We've got a lot more coming up right here on North Dakota Today.